2005, paper 3A8. Let, let's look at it. Now, zinc salt N dissolve in water. So again, this one is zinc something. We don't know what the something is. We know the positive ion. We do not know the negative ion. So colorless solution. Then after that, we add dilute nitric acid and aqueous silver nitrate. Now, what test? What does this test test for? This is actually a negative ion test or an ion test. What does it test for? It actually tests for silver nitrate. It can either test for the chloride ion or it can test for the iodide ion. Now over here it says you, uh, the result is a white precipitate is obtained. So white precipitate, it must be silver chloride. So this is actually a test for the chloride ion. And the white precipitate is silver chloride. So this white precipitate here is your silver chloride. It shows that this colorless solution has the chloride ion because silver must have come from here but chloride it must have come from the colorless solution and this colorless solution is from here so that means this zinc X is actually zinc chloride okay then after that the colorless solution which is actually zinc chloride at aqueous ammonia and aqueous ammonia is actually a reagent to test for the cation but actually we know the cation is zinc ready so at aqueous ammonia you get a white precipitate now aqueous ammonia is actually okay aqueous ammonia you can write it like this or it is actually the same with ammonium hydroxide they are the same aqueous ammonia this is also aqueous ammonia so another name for aqueous ammonia is ammonium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide is another name for aqueous ammonia now let's look at what happened when your zinc chloride react with aqueous ammonia uh, aqueous ammonia or ammonium hydroxide what do you get you actually get zinc hydroxide and ammonium chloride okay no need to balance it because you don't have to balance it so this white precipitate over is actually zinc hydroxide because ammonium chloride is soluble this is soluble ammonium something must be soluble okay so this white precipitate must be zinc hydroxide because all hydroxide are not soluble except uh, group 1 and group 2 so this one is zinc hydroxide okay now let's look at this name the following compounds white precipitate P so this one is okay now the question say name so you cannot write the chemical formula so this is actually silver chloride so you just write silver chloride then after that a white precipitate O this one is zinc hydroxide zinc salt N that would be zinc chloride write a chemical equation for any one of the reactions in figure 3 actually you can write this equation I already written for you okay so you can just write this plus NH4 OH you get ZN OH2 NH4 Cl so you just put a 2 here put a 2 here okay I think that would be balanced name two substances you could react together to make zinc salt and zinc salt N is zinc chloride okay zinc chloride so from the preparation of salt zinc chloride you can actually use the first method which is add excess of zinc to acid okay so you can use you can add excess of zinc two substances which is in this case uh, the acid must be hydrochloric acid okay hydrochloric acid 
because if you HCl plus zinc, okay, metal and hydro and acid, you get salt. So in this case, it's zinc chloride plus hydrogen. So zinc chloride is the one that we want to prepare. So the two substances will be zinc and hydrochloric acid.